What is the PERT method? The PERT method stands for Program Evaluation and Review Technique. It is a statistical approach to project schedules. Actually, it is a statistical way of predicting project completions when there is uncertainty about the project durations. The PERT method was developed during the Polaris missile program in the United States in the 1950s. At that time the United States was in the middle of the Cold War and had come up with the idea that ballistic nuclear missiles could be fired underwater from a submarine. Of course this was a tremendous advantage in a nuclear war because the submarine could approach the coastline of the Soviet Union and fire the missiles before being detected. It seems no one told the submarine commander that as soon as the rocket took off, the submarine would be spotted and probably blown up. But that takes us a bit off the subject of PERT. The difficulty for the U.S. Navy and general dynamics was that they had two separate projects, the Missile Development Project and the Submarine Development Project. Because of the intensity of the Cold War, it would have been difficult to explain to Congress that the missile was ready for deployment when the submarine was not or that the submarine was ready to go on patrol but had no missiles. PERT was created to take project task durations that were uncertain and statistically estimate the amount of time that they would be expected to take and do that with a determined probability and range of values. Each activity in a PERT analysis must have three different durations estimated for it. These are the optimistic, the pessimistic, and the most likely duration. The activity's expected duration and the activity's standard deviation are calculated from these three values by the following formulas. Expected duration equals, optimistic plus 4x most likely plus pessimistic, 6 expected standard deviation equals, pessimistic, optimistic, 6. These two values, the expected duration and the expected standard deviation, are approximations that allow us to predict the project completion date and a range of values that will give us the probability that the actual project will be completed within the range of values. For example, if we predict that the expected value for the project completion is January 10th and that the expected standard deviation is 4 days, we could say that we have a 95% probability that the project will be completed between January 2nd and January 18th. Tell me more. Dot. The PERT method is used when there is uncertainty in the duration of the activities in a project. Figure 58 shows what would be expected if you were to plot the probability distribution of the expected dates for completing a project. On the left side of the diagram, we have the optimistic completion date for the project. On the right side, we have the pessimistic completion date for the project. The optimistic and pessimistic dates for the project completion are the earliest and latest dates that are reasonable for the Figure 5-8, Skewed Probability Distribution Projects Completion They should not be dates that are impossibly early or impossibly late. Notice that the curve of the probability distribution is skewed to the right. This is because it is increasingly unusual for the project to be done earlier and earlier. As most of us have experienced, when things begin to go wrong in terms of project lateness, it seems that they get worse and worse or later and later. So, in this characteristic plot of projects we see more dates later than the most likely date and fewer dates earlier than the most likely date. This causes the PERT weighted average date to shift to a position later than the most likely date. The PERT weighted average is not the most likely date for finishing the project. It is shifted somewhat because the probability distribution is not symmetrical. Figure 5-9 shows the range of values that is plus or minus two standard deviations from the PERT weighted average value. The standard deviation is always a positive number and is the distance from the expected value. In the case of PERT, it is the distance measured from the PERT weighted average. The standard deviation of the project completion is the sum of the standard deviations of the durations of the activities that make up the critical path. 
since the durations of the activities on the critical path are the only ones that should go into the total that is the project duration, only the critical path items standard deviations should be used to determine the standard deviation of the project completion. Figure 5-9, Skewed Probability Distribution To the scheduling example we had been working with earlier, we now add estimated values for optimistic, pessimistic, and most likely. From these we calculate the expected value and the standard deviation, see figure 510. When we add up the standard deviations of the activities to get the standard deviation of the project, we must first square each one of the standard deviations of each activity, add them up, and then take the square root of the total, 